so this kind of segues nice, nicely into what our trip's all about as well, which is how does social media tie into all this stuff and how can it possibly help you? So currently you have uh, an individual Facebook page, right? Yeah. And you have a Twitter account, you have a website. So with the Facebook page, how many and how many friends do you have on the Facebook page? I don't even know. Let's look it up. <laughs> I don't Mark and Nine hundred and seventy nine. About a thousand. Yeah. Get more popular. Yeah you are. So, and you, we've talked about this too, but you have some plans on creating a Facebook fan page as well? Yeah, no, we do. Uh, me and Whitney are going to work together on that. I think uh, Facebook fan page is a great way to promote the individual and get her out there. Um, you know, one thing we talked about earlier is Facebook shows you how many quote-unquote friends you have, but something like, something like a fan page really gives you an opportunity to, to kind of see what you're following and she's really interested in what you're doing. And, um, you know, Whitney's got a ton of uh, Facebook friends. There are actually water, that are younger water skiers out there that are big fans, and they kind of segment those those on Facebook who are really followers or fans. That, that's going to be big just for her to just see that, that there are followers of hers out there, but also in the future for her to pursue endorsements and that sort of thing um, for companies and, and, and uh, to be able to see that she actually has a following. That's going to be huge. So we're going to work together to try to to try to both segment that following so it can be seen and of course build it. That's going to be that number one way to do that is going to be through social media. Yeah. So it's going to go well beyond Facebook. Yeah. And so another one that you're, you're using currently is Twitter. So you have a Twitter account. What's your Twitter account there? With McClintock. With McClintock? Yeah. Okay. And how are you currently using that? Like how often are you updating it, I guess? Are you um, giving people kind of behind the scenes uh, insight into what your days are like when you're training and when you're at events? At events, I'm a much better Twitterer. Tweeter. Tweeter. I tweet a lot at competitions. Um, I actually got a big following. Well, my my big following was like jumping from like 80 to 125 in one weekend. That was like a big deal. And that was because I was I was telling all the scores from the weekend because no one else was putting the scores up. So people started following me and. I've been really slacking in the tweeting department lately. So do you have people that are... Follow me. Please. Yeah, make sure Wait, you look her up. So do you have people that actually converse back and forth with you too through Twitter? Or do you engage them that much? Yeah. I've got some like close friends who do that with me. I tried to talk to Safety Sue. And Safety so, Suit is... And, the... and Miley Cyrus. And, oh, and, uh, right. I really, yeah, I really yeah. would like to... Get connected with my favorite musicians. There you go. And again, you know, if you're listening to this, reach Thank out. You She's you on Twitter. And Miley Cyrus, please, I love you. Miley Cyrus needs more followers. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, let me comment too. I mean, we realize that this is the room for growth. I mean, I think one of the most amazing things about Twitter and really a lot of the social networks these days is the opportunity to connect the athlete with the actual fan. I mean, that is such a unique experience, and especially to what you were saying about receiving a personal message to be able to respond to them. I mean, that happens now with a lot of professional athletes, including NFL players and all that sort of thing. I mean, Chad used to be Johnson, now Ocho Cinco, receiver for the Bengals. I mean, that guy tweets about 20 times a day, and even every now and then I'll respond to, respond to guys. I mean, he just, he just bought some of his followers on Twitter tickets to a football game, sat him in the front row of the end zone, and when he scored a touchdown, jumped into their arms. And, and that just goes to show you, <laughs> that just goes. That's the parrot. Game. That parrot is an Ocho Cinco fan. I think. Yeah. I think that's what we call a tweet. Yeah, that was that was a tweet, all right. Official tweet. But all I was saying is that we recognize the opportunity for growth there, and I think that to be able to connect Whitney with with her audience, with her followers, um, for them to really feel that connection, I feel like they get to not only um, know a little bit more about who she is, but to really feel like they're in contact with her. Um, it's really going to be huge. We're definitely going to get a lot more of that. Yeah. And what other things are you guys doing? There's, there's a website too? You yes. have, what's your website address? WhitneyMcClintock.com okay. And what kind of things are you doing with that? You've got obviously your bio on there, but also... My staff, my sponsors, which needs to grow. That page is very lacking. Yeah. Very lacking. Um, <laughs> but I have my sponsors on there, and I shout out to my sponsors a lot. Where I've been in the news, and then I have my own, like my homepage. I put 
where I've been, what I'm doing at competitions, and how I've played and stuff like that. Right. And I think too, we're, we're going to probably look into adding like a media component to that, where whether it just be fans or even uh, potential sponsors can come and see a little bit of the media following, um, and, and that would go beyond just the social media. That would also include. Um, any write-ups that have been on her newspaper ads, stuff like that, like posting uh, video clips, including the ESPN Top 10. Uh, for example, in one of the local papers, um, the day she won the World Championships, it said Canada's Golden Girl, and it's just this huge front-page picture. And that was, that's just an amazing, amazing picture, an amazing thing. And uh, So to be able to get some of that media on the website, too, is going to be huge. Yeah, for sure. Well, I think you guys are doing a great job, and obviously there's lots of exciting things to come in the future here. Um, it's pretty obvious that this girl's got a great personality and she's a world champion water skier. So, thanks very much Thank for the time. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot, Mark. Uh,